Hello students, a very warm welcome. And uh, here we are going to discuss master's theorem. So basically in the analysis of algorithms, the master theorem for divide and concur recurrences provides an asymptotic analysis, right? We have already discussed about asymptotic notation. So I hope you know what is asymptotic analysis is. For recurrence relations of type, that occur in the analysis of many divide and conquer algorithms. So basically why we use master's theorem, right? Why we used? So the concept is master's theorem for divide and conquer is an analysis theorem that can be used to determine a big O value for recurrence relation algorithm, right? Just to find the big O relation for recursive relation algorithms. It is used to find time required by the algorithm and to represent it in asymptotic notations, right? So basically, if the standard format for the master's theorem is given, and it should be like, if the recurrence relation is of type Tn equals to A T n by B plus theta of n to the power k log of power p and n. If this is a standard representation where a should be greater than or equals to 1, b should be greater than 1, k should be greater than or equals to 0, and p is real number and p is real number okay now there are certain rules that we have to follow in order to approach with master's theorem the rule number one is if a to the if a is greater than b to the power k if a this value is greater than b to the power k then in this case, in this case, time complexity would be written as big O of n to the power log base B A, right? We are going to solve a couple of questions also so that you will get the clarity. The second case is if, let me change the color, if A equals to B to the power K, in this case, we are having certain cases. Case number A is if P is greater than minus 1, then time complexity would be written as big O of or theta of whatever you can basically order of n to the power log B A n log of n p plus 1 log of n power mein p plus 1 here we are having case b the case b is if p equals to minus 1 in this case p equals to minus 1 in this case tn equals to order of n to the power log a base b and log of log n. And here we are having case C, obviously, if P is less than minus one. Then in this case, time complexity would be order of n to the power log A base B. Okay. Now, here we are having third case, if a is less than b to the power k. So basically, if a is greater than b to the power k, equal to b to the power k, and if it is less than b to the power k. In this case, we are having further two cases. We are having further two cases. Case number A is if p is greater than or equals to 0, then in this case, time complexity would be order of n to the power k log of p 
n log of n and power p p is the power of log okay and the case b is if p is less than 0 in this case time complexity would be order of n to the power k right so this is a complete scenario of masters theorem now i hope that with certain examples if you are going to take then it should be more clear so let's take one problem and try to understand it that if the recurrence relation is given to us like tn equals to let's say 4 t n by 2 plus n square and we are just want to ask that if it is the recurrence relation for any divide and conquer algorithm then what would be the order of complexity in which that algorithm is going to perform so we have to compare this equation with the standard equation of the masters theorem which is given to us like tn equals to at n by b plus theta of n to the power k log tn Where a should be greater than equals to one, b should be greater than one, k should be greater than equals to zero, and p is real number. If all these parameters are matching, then we can go with this. So what is the a here? A is four. What is b? B is two. And what is k? K is two. So four, and we have to compare b to the power k, two to the power two. So if you are going to check it. Four equals to four. It means that a equals to b to the power k. Which case it is? It is case two. Okay. If it is case two, we have to compare on the certain factors of p. What is the value of p here? Log to the power p. We are not having log here. It simply means that we are having p equals to zero. So if we are having p equals to zero, what it means that? If we are having p equals to zero because we are not having p here, so if we are not having p here, it means that it should be it is less than zero. So if it is less than zero, it is greater than minus one. It is minus one, or it is. So in that case, if you are going to see, if you are going to see, right, zero is. Greater than minus one, correct? Zero is greater than minus one. So what I can write theta of n to the power it is zero is greater than minus one. This case n to the power log of a that is four and base b that is two and log of this is here, right? Nah? n what is n n as it is n in power p plus 1 p is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 it simply means that i can say order of n to the power log 2 square 2 log n because log ki power 1 is nothing but it's 1 it's log and 2 will come here using property of logarithm so ultimately it's order of n square n log 2 base 2 One log n square log n. It is the time complexity of this recurrence relation, right? So basically, we can solve this the uh, solution with the help of uh, with the help of uh, substitution method also, right? With the method of tree also, and this is also method Master's theorem. So Master's theorem follows this standard representation. this is the standard representation of masters theorem if these parameters matched then you can go with that okay if you want we can solve one more question for your clarity so let's take question here let's say if the recurrence relation that is given to you tn right if the recurrence relation is given to you like tn equals to 2 t n by 2 plus 